Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do another animal and this time we're gonna draw the elephant. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. All right, so let's sketch this elephant. Um, so whenever we see any kind of uh, creature like this, you know, we want to just kind of block in the basic shapes, kind of like what we did with the dinosaur. So with the elephant, um, his, obviously his biggest shape is his, his whole body. So I'm just gonna rough it in. I'm just gonna do a little, kind of almost like an egg shape because that's kind of what it looks like in the reference, right? So we're gonna do this and then we can start um, putting in more reference points. Well, let's let's do the head. We can also do, let's see, before we put in too much detail, let's, we, we can do the head like that, right? That kind of give, gives you like an overall. So here's the body and here's the, here's the head. And then we can do the legs. Let's see, legs is part of like right here is upper leg. And then it's gonna go straight down, so it's almost like a trunk. All right, so here's, here's the second part. And then let's see the hind legs, goes up from, from, the, bot, from, the, from the top pretty far, right? And it kind of comes down, okay? We're measuring and then it just kind of comes straight down. Okay, so it looks pretty weird. Um, <laughs> I guess if you, when you, when you look at it closely, you know, the, the joints are really pretty weird looking. So all right, can we, all right, let's move on to the head. So we can break up the head. Uh, let's see, this is the head and then here's this trunk. Again, I'm just trying to see some of the basic shapes. So here's a little bulge, all right? Here's his eye, here's his ear, ear kind of like this. It sags a little bit and then coming down his trunk. So as you're doing this, um, it's okay if things are off. I mean, this is the whole roughing in process, you know, and it looks like I am pr pretty off here, like on the bottom, his leg should be a little bit lower, All right? Okay, his front legs are lower than his hind leg. There's a little bit of perspective in this drawing. So, all right, let's just, let's just go for it, you know, um, since we don't have to be that exact anyway with these animals. All right, so let's let's fill in some of the little detail so here's this little hump on his head and I'm just kind of starting the head um, it is the most uh, interesting part okay and here's the little bump and then let's get his eye you see that little brow area right here this is this whole area kind of comes forward and then his eyes in here kind of like that looking down there's all these little circles around. Obviously, we're gonna skip that. Okay, there's a little dark area right here. It looks like his, this is where his trunks and his lip, his mouth is right here, all right? This thing goes down all the way here. I think it's, this is his whole, his whole bottom lip area. It's kind of hard to see in the reference because it's all dark. Okay, and then now we can go down. Let's see, this little hump right here, right in front of the eye. It kind of flattens in goes in a little bit and his trunk comes all the way down. Okay, and then we, we, we don't have to do the bottom of the trunk because, you know, again, it's like, um, these are the smaller details we can fill in. You know, we, we can do that after we put in the leg, which is more important. So let's do, because if you end up doing this and then you realize your, your leg is, you know, let's say higher or lower, then you, you might have to redo the trunk. So the trunk is more flexible. So we're gonna skip that for later. It's kind of like in figure drawing, the head is more flexible. We always skip that. We always do that for the, the last last stage. All right, so let's see his ear. Probably could be a lot higher. I think I probably done his, uh, now I look at it, his, his head needs to go a little bit higher. Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust that real quickly. So that's why we, we, we sketch lightly, you know, at the beginning, it's just that, you know, we don't, it's a lot easier to erase. And here's his ear coming down. Okay, not to his eye. Comes down to here. So I'm just I'm just seeing reference points, you know. Okay, so that's his ear. Now we can go back. Let's do we can actually do his leg right now since we work in the front here. Okay, so his legs is pretty straight. Looks like he's coming forward like that. Alright, then the back. I know there's some detail, but you can actually just go like this first and then fill in the, the gaps later. OK, 
his legs, all right? So it's probably around this tall. Okay. I'm just kind of approximating, you know, the distance from here to here, kind of like taking the halfway point. So again, even if it's off, it's okay. This little bump here, which seats in, and here's you have his foot and his toe. So his toe, I'm, I'm going to skip that for now. Okay, just, just concentrate on the big stuff first. Because the, there is a danger when you concentrate on the little stuff, you get caught. You get caught doing that and you, 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 know, you, you end up forgetting the big shapes. And then that's when you're, uh, and then you realize uh, you know, a lot of your drawing is actually off. Then you have to do a lot of erasing or, or it'll just come out really disproportionate. All right, so now let's work on the hind legs. Now this thing comes down. I'm gonna measure just kind of the angle. It kind of goes up a little bit. Okay, so this is gonna be where his hind leg's gonna hit. So I'm just kind of measuring that angle. All right, so his rear legs coming down. Here's his knee coming down. And his foot's right around here. So it's this kind of, there's, there's a little bit of perspective. So it's not flat. You see how I did that round? So it's kind of like a cylinder and, and, and these would be like kind of contour lines. And it's actually okay to have them on, on them, you know, because it helps you visualize, to help to visualize the, the actual shape. Okay. All right. So let's, so you notice I, I didn't do any of the, the back legs. <laughs> and that's kind of the way I like to do it because once you have the front legs, the back legs are very easy, right? All right, so now, now that we have this, let's go, um, let's rough out the back legs. So his back legs, let's see, his foot's right here. And I don't even have to do this yet because his foot position is more important. So if I just do this position here, then now I, can, now I need to, now I know all I just have to do is just kind of connect these points, right? So just kind of like that. So once you have the, uh, the front legs, it's really easy to do the hind legs because all the reference points are there already. Okay, so here's a shadow area like that. So let's do the rear hind leg even easier. So this is just kind of like a little bump right here. All right, this is gonna be dark. Okay, and then his legs coming back here. I can do the bottom again. It just comes down from there like this. Okay, and then this is pretty much all dark except for this little shadow area. So I can almost just do something like that. So again, uh, very easy hind legs. That's the, uh, if there was anything easier to do or, or things in the back <laughs> because there's so much reference points in the front. All right, so his, his tail, I don't like his tail like that. And we can always flare it out later. All right, just leave it. Okay, now we can work on the trunk. You see, um, now, now we know the trunk's gonna hit the bottom somewhere right here, right? So we can actually do the bottom here like this again. It's, it's kind of like doing the, the foot first before you do the leg. All right, so now we're gonna do this little trunk. It kind of curls. Looks like it's probably picking up something. Okay, and now we can just kind of connect it. All right. Let me see how that looks. Okay, I mean, proportion-wise, it looks like an elephant. I mean, yeah, I think my head is a little bit too, uh, too small. So I can just quickly adjust that. Okay. But I think overall it's good, uh, close enough. So now we can start doing the shading and this is where, you know, kind of the fun part is. So the lighting here, you know, obviously it's coming from this way. Uh, we can actually do, if you want, we can actually do this first. You know, mark in the shadow and I'm just kind of shade it in real quick. Let me get rid of some eraser marks here. So we can actually shade these deep shadow ends first. See, his, his um, mouth here is dark. So again, uh, not too much stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this relatively rough because I want to finish this rather quickly. There's a lot of little detailing, so you can actually do little marks like that. You see, I can kind of fake those kind of lines just by shading. So. It's so one thing about shading, you know, if you can, shade it in a way where, you know, it, acts, it also gives you the texture as well. So it's kind of like this, and here's the dark part of the ear, flat, flapping over. Okay. 
So I'm just roughing in, you know, some of the darker areas that I see. Okay, and then his eyes here. Some smaller lines here, I can, I can hit some of it, but not too much. Okay, so his trunk coming down back to the trunk. There's some shading here in the back. And then I'm seeing like little lumps here. So here is like kind of the middle, middle tone, mid-tone area. And then behind the ear is darker. So that one, that one's easy, right? You can see that one. I can actually erase this to show it a little bit better. Okay, so this part is dark. So his trunk's got a lot of little marks here and it's darker on this side, so I'm just gonna go like this. So normally I would probably, you know, sketch in these shadows on the back and, and, and kind of shade it, but let me just concentrate on the front a little bit so that I can give you a little bit uh, more of a complete demonstration and I can always finish the back on my own. Okay, so I'm, now I'm seeing like smaller little things. Uh, let's see, there's a lot of little lines. Looks like there's some hair in his ear. So here is a shading. Let's see, there's a bump here. So I'm, I'm, I'll try to exaggerate certain things. You know, that's, that's one of the things you kind of have to do. It's a very good process quick because, you know, the, again, the lighting itself is very flat. And if you can see the shapes, uh, shade it and exaggerate the shapes. Because in a drawing, that really helps. You know, normally you don't, you don't want to do it um, exactly as you, as you see it. You know, just kind of, because in a photo it looks okay, but if you draw it and it's not as, it's kind of subtle, then it kind of takes it away, you know. It just looks kind of flat and, and people are going to wonder if you know what you're doing. <laughs> But if you exaggerate it, they'll be like, "Ooh, that's cool!" You know, look at it. you can you can feel the shapes. You know, you can see it, and it's and it's neat. You know. So I'm gonna try to see. Yeah, and actually, I should talk about more of that too, especially like in figure drawing. You know, a lot of musculature is greatly exaggerated, and that's why it looks really good too. All right, so this part is dark. There's a little bit of line here, lining. I can turn in my pencil so I can get sharper lines okay here's a shadowing very dark I'm trying to shade the terminator darker because it's a little bit more interesting that way and kind of leave the bottom here a little bit lighter because generally there's a little bit of reflective lighting that comes back up so it's like this would be the terminator and i'm kind of exaggerating a little bit if I exaggerate the Terminator, see how if on the bottom here it feels like there's a little bit of bounce lighting and it gives it a, lot, a little bit more life. So this underneath here should be a little bit darker. Again, it's an exaggeration. Okay, and then here is his shadow. This in here is dark. It's casting a shadow, a little bit wavy because of his skin. It's kind of wavy, it's not a flat area. And I just kind of rough that in I think you know again don't try to follow it exactly or else you spend all your time pulling your hair out because you'll be so frustrated <laughs> all right so let's go back to the trunk uh, if I'm concentrating on the head I need to do this so this looks like this whole part on the bottom is slightly darker it's not catching as much light so I can kind of see those just like a little you see a little bump right there, you know, this part is lighter and this is lighter. So this must be a little bit darker. And then here's this trunk. I have to do a little bit of these lines as part of the feature. And then here's um, his trunk in, in, in the shade. All right, so I'm just kind of wiggle, wiggle shapes in so I can get a little bit of shading in there. You know, don't do a straight line because it isn't a straight line. There's a lot of little subtleties, little folds. So it's here on this side. Okay, so you kind of, it's very easy and you know, very quick, you know, don't, don't, don't baby it, you know, just, just go in. Here's a shadow area right here. 
here, shadow one. That one's in shadow. Let's see. Look at the camera. Okay, I mean, you can, now you can start feeling it, right? Now, now it looks like I need more shading in here. Looks like there's a lot of little things going on. Get the eyes a little bit darker, make it a little bit more attractive. So focus your eye into it. And then here is the back. So there's a couple of lumps up here, right? You see those that the lump? So I'm gonna oh sorry. So you see this little lump up here. So I'm gonna exaggerate that. Try to get a little bit more shading in here. And this is getting now now I'm seeing that this should be a little bit darker. Yeah, because now that now that I shade all the other area of the face, you know, this this area needs to be darker. So that's how it goes, you know, it's like um, everything goes in stages. So don't worry if, you're, if your drawing doesn't come out correctly in the beginning, just keep going. And uh, if you shade it correctly, you know, just a little bit of good visual, visualization and seeing where the darks are, you know, it'll, it'll come together. So you can see it, my, my shading is not very accurate, right? It's just, it's just very, I'm just hitting certain areas. As long as you get close, it will, it will look okay. And let's do a little bit more texturing up front over here. This area part needs to be a little bit darker, maybe a little bit more harder lines. Just kind of push it in underneath his eyes, a little bit more folding, turning my pencil to get the nice, clean, nice sharp edge. Doing a little bit more edging here. Darker, looks like there's some kind of vein going on there. Okay. Behind it here, I'm gonna make it slightly darker just because it's, so I can push, you know, push this ear out. Okay, so I'm gonna, so now you start, you start to feel it, right? I mean, that this, this whole structure is coming out, you know? So, yeah, so it's, it's getting there. So I'm just gonna finish out the body the same way that I'm doing here, and then uh, I'll be right back to show you how it looks. Alright, I'm back and here's my final drawing for this elephant and I just kind of went in with uh, a sharper 6B and just kind of gave it a little bit more texturing but everything was pretty much shown uh, on, in front of the camera. So actually it, it came out okay, uh, it's very rough but you know from afar if you look at it, it looks kind of realistic right, which, so which is kind of the process of drawing, you know, it could be rough um, because I didn't spend too much time on the little details and if you look at, you know, kind of far away it does it look kind of realistic. So if I go in and actually you know put in a lot more detail, then you know it'll look more realistic closer up. But uh, I mean I'm not gonna go for that anyways. I'm just kind of want to have some fun sketching. Um, so this is a really good exercise. Again, you know just six B pencil all the way through. You're able to uh, be very rough with this, you know because the I mean the reference is rough is of elephant skin. So this is the kind of stuff that, you know, it's really fun to do and it's really good to just sketch and forget about, you know, what you're doing. Forget about the accuracy, to, you know, don't worry about that and just kind of have fun with it. And just try to visualize all the shapes and you know, all those little subtleties that you, that you see and that's really what you're shading. And if you can exaggerate that, then you're going to give this uh, um, drawing a lot more life than, than it is in the actual reference, actually. So. so definitely give it a shot and see how it goes and I will see you next time. <laughs>